Hey, Johnny. What's going on? Oh, hi, Mike. What's new? I still like Newgrounds. I just haven't been to it in a long time. Pico is friggin' awesome. Tom Fulp. Love, uh, everything on Newgrounds. You did a great job. with. I know that not everything is, like, user uploaded, but I'm saying you, you did a good job creating the Newgrounds community and stuff. I'm sure Tom Fulp isn't the only one, and I feel bad that I don't know, like, everybody's names. But props to you two. Actually, Johnny, I've got a little bit of a tragedy on my hands. Uh-huh. Me and Michelle, we were making out, uh, at your place. <laughs> they added the us. <laughs> Why does he laugh about that? They were just, they just came into his, his apartment and just started making out and trying to have sex on his couch. And, uh, Lisa and Claudette sort of walked in on us in the middle of it. That's not the end of the story. <laughs> Go on, I'm listening. <laughs> okay, we're going at it, and, um, I get out of there as fast as, I, as possible. Well, you know, I get my pants, I get my shirt, and I get out of there. And then, about halfway down the stra stairs, I realize that I have misplaced, I have forgotten something. <laughs> uh, my underwear. <laughs> So I come back to get it, you know, and I pretend that I need a book, you know, like I'm looking for my book. And I reach in, put the underwear in my pocket, and sort of slide out real quick. Well, Claudette, she saw it sticking out of my pocket. She pulls it out, and she's uh, showing everybody me underwears. <laughs> you must be kidding. Underwear? I got the picture. Yeah, I... I don't know what to do. That's live. Uh, well, you can do what I do. Don't wear underwear. I've, I've never liked underwear. It, it bunches up in my pants, and I'm just like, it's so uncomfortable to me. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Mike. So I don't wear underwear. I have like one pair of PlayStation 3 underwear that I got. I have no clue where when I, where I got it or when I got it. But I basically just, on hot nights, I just wear that to sleep. So it's I'm not like putting, putting pants on over it. Underwear is fine if you're using it as shorts. But I'll just like... I'll just wear workout shorts or something. You know, it's it's like something you can go outside in and sleep in. I mean, what's what is the point of underwear for guys? Support? What do you need support for? Your balls? I don't know about you, but my balls never hurt from not having underwear. You guys want to play some football? Back to the room. I'm getting off on some weird tangents. I gotta go see Michelle in a little bit to make out with her. Oh, psh. Come on. Play with the boys. Play with Denny. Come on, Mike. Let's do it. Come on. Alright, whatever. Let's go for it. I'm going out. I'm not gonna miss it this time. Yeah, sorry you had to see that. I'm not sorry. Haha. <laughs> Oh crap! I just said that I wasn't gonna miss it. Almost as much as I was. I'm not gonna miss it. I'm gonna pay attention. Studying, right? I was like scratching my head or something. I'm not gonna miss it. I'm gonna get it. Oh, oh. Yeah! No, great catch, Johnny! And I'm gonna... Oh. That's, that's very nerve-wracking. For some reason. I don't like... I don't study like that. He doesn't. Oh, oh! Yeah! What? Oh, come on! 
<laughs> Yawn. Hey, Denny, what's up? Does, is he saying that he doesn't study? Is that what that was? Because I never studied in high school. And then I went to uh, a year of a college that didn't need studying. Oh, hi, Mark. What's going on, man? Not too much. What about you guys? Oh. He was just telling us about an underwear issue he has. Dude, don't. Oh. Underwear? What's that? Dude, it's... It's embarrassing, man. I don't want to get into it. Underwear? Man, come on. What the... That was always such a weird thing. Why does Mark push him over? You okay? Are you alright? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Why does he do that? I need to watch the disaster artist. Wanna go see a doctor? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm alright. I'm fine. I'm gonna take him home. Is it just because they always wrote themselves into a corner with the football thing and they didn't know how to end the scene? That's what I think it might be. Mark, why don't you take him home? And Mike, listen, if you need anything, call me anytime, alright? Call me when the gun is in my mouth. Okay, see you guys. See you guys. Let's go home, Danny. Are they gonna be in the hot tub? I really. Every time Mike takes somebody, I want him. I want them to be in the hot tub. Thanks for walking me home, Johnny. See ya. Yeah, my teachers hated me in school. I've probably mentioned it in something else, but I was, I was that kid who slept every day in class because I was so bored. And I'm not a morning person, you know, in high school I'm talking about. Uh, and so I would, I would fall asleep unintentionally. They always kept those rooms so cold, so I would just kind of huddle into myself for warmth in my giant hoodie, and I would just fall asleep. And I actually failed my biology class. Oh, I gotta put clothes on. I'm so used to him being naked, I, I forgot that he was naked. But I failed my bi biology class even though I I got uh, I got good enough grades, but she failed me because uh, I, I, was, I would fall asleep in her class every morning. But it, I, it fr I freaked that teacher out so bad. I would like, because she would be like, I'm gonna fail you if you fall asleep in my class. So while she's just up in the front of the class doing her lectures and stuff, I would just slap myself in the face to, to keep myself awake. It didn't help. I was like asleep, but I was still like, I was sleep slapping myself in the face and it wasn't waking me up, I was so sleepy. And I got good sleep. I didn't like stay up late or anything. It's just, it was so cold and I'm not a morning person. And she was boring. But I would I would sleep through most of my classes, and all my teachers hated me because of it. Because I would wake up, do all of the work that they told me to do, and then go back to sleep, and then I would like turn it in and and it would be right and stuff. He's not my husband! I'm sorry, I keep getting on those tangents. I know, but Johnny is part of our family. Mom, I don't love Johnny anymore. I'm glad that I, I I did that recording stuff early because I was really afraid that it wasn't gonna tell me to go get a tape recorder. And I, I kinda just found that electronics store and then I thought of it. I don't even like him. I had sex with someone else. You can't be serious. Don't understand. Who? Who is it? I don't want to talk about it. 
Why did she bring it up? Why did... Why did you bring it up in the first place? I don't know. You don't know? If you think I'm tired today, wait till you see me tomorrow. After the chemo. I'm going to have so much radiation pushing through my breasts. Because I definitely have breast cancer. Sure, I suppose so. How can they say this about me? I don't believe it. I show them. It's a good thing I record everything. Oh, hi, Peter. This random guy. Hi, Johnny. I, th I thought that this was, like... A weird situation too because he's like but you're the psychologist and, and then a couple lines later he's like you always play psychologist with us why what man does what's the problem they never say what they mean and they always play games okay um what do you mean I have a serious problem with Lisa why don't you just like you see, that's the moment that I would have heard Lisa say that to her mom. I would have stepped down and be like, Bitch, out of my house. That... You cheat on me, we're done. You know? Because I've said... I've, I've made jokes like this uh, quite a few times in other videos, but... If, if you're in a relationship with me, you're mine and I am yours. That's, that's how I think about it. And it's like mutual ownership of each other until you state otherwise. You know, I'm not going to be like crazy, like you can't leave the house. You're, you're mine, that kind of thing. But just in a romantic sense... You're mine, I'm yours. You know? And I don't like people playing with my things. <laughs> I don't think she's faithful to me. Yeah, really? Because she said that? Because she said it straight out? In fact, I know she isn't. Lisa, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I overheard a conversation between Lisa and her mother. What should I do, Peter? This is Lisa we're talking about. Yeah. I don't know what to say. But you're a psychologist. Do you have some advice? You see? That's what I'm talking about. He's like, you're a psychologist. Please, don't you have any advice? And he's like, dude, I don't know what's going on in the world. And then he starts giving advice. And he's like, why do you always play psychologist? I mean, you're my friend, and I don't get between you and Lisa. But look, if you want to, you should confront her. I can't confront her. I want to give her a second chance. After all, she's my future. You know what they say. Love is blind. Well, you got a lot of faith in Lisa. Sometimes life gets complicated, and the unexpected can happen. When it does, we just gotta deal with it. Aw, oh, crap. Cue the feminist telling me that I'm a misogynist. I just realized that. The way I'm talking. When it does, we just gotta deal with it. Just like... Just like I'm gonna get so much hate. Did you hear the door? Yeah. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny. Hey, Peter. We're just talking about women. Women? Man, women just confuse me. <laughs> he knows! Look at that face, he knows! I have a girl, but she's married. I mean, she's very attra- No, you're lying. It's just, it's driving me crazy. Why didn't you mention this before? Is it anyone I know? Nah, man, you don't know her. Yeah, you do. 
Can I meet her? I don't think so. It was an awkward situation. You mean she's too old, or you think I would take her away from you? <laughs> huh? Nah. <laughs> it's, it's like... <laughs> Was that like a blooper in this in the movie or something where he like chuckled and then he was like, "Huh?" <laughs> and then he just continued with the scene 